Hi guys, welcome to Pencil College. In today's video, we'll be looking at chapter 7.2. Specifically, we'll learn how to find the areas of triangles and quadrilaterals. So let us look at their lesson objectives. We will be learning how to find the area of any polygon given the coordinates of their vertices. So what does this mean? Okay, so let me just introduce everyone to the shoelace or the shoestring formula. This formula will be very useful, okay, and uh, this will help you find the area of any given polygon. So, the, in order to make use of this formula, okay, you must first understand how it works. And uh, I'd just like to warn you guys first that though it looks pretty confusing, but it's okay, okay, because in the next few examples, we'll look at some numerical values on, and that will really help you understand better. Okay, so suppose we're given the coordinates of these three points, A, B, and C, okay, which are x1, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y3, respectively, then how do we find off, find the area of triangle A, B, C? So, staring at this formula over here, it says half times, now, I'm actually making use of the, or writing down rather, the coordinates of point A, which is x1, y1, followed by the coordinates of point B, which is x2, y2, followed by the coordinates of point C, and finally, going back to the coordinates of point A. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty much moving in a anti-clockwise direction. Okay. Okay, the next thing I want to do is to make sure, okay, that uh, we know how to multiply out using this formula. So, formula goes like this, x1, times y2, so this is my first term over here, plus x2 times y3, which is this term over here, plus x3 times y1, which is this term over here, minus, okay, let me change the color, minus x2 times y1, which is this term over here, x2, y1, minus x3 times y2, which is this term over here, minus x1 times y3, close modulus. Okay, so take note of the modular sign around the entire um, function. Okay, so whatever value that you get, we will only take the positive value. Okay, so what if we have a polygon, a four-sided polygon? Okay, so similar to the previous example or the previous uh, formula, we will start with a particular point. So let's say I start with point A over here. Okay, so if I start with point A, that will be the, this will be the coordinates of A. So coordinates of A is x1, y1, which is over here. Okay, followed by B, x2, y2, which is over here. Followed by C, x3, y3, which is over here. Followed by D, x4, y4, which is over here. And before I end off, I need to repeat the point which I started with. Take note that when ordering the points, I will move in an anti-clockwise direction. So let me just make it more obvious. Anti-clockwise direction. Okay. So A followed by B followed by C followed by D and coming back to A again. Okay. So the multiplication okay, of the terms are pretty much similar to the previous example, but I will still explain in uh, detail in this video. Okay, since it's your first time learning this, okay, it's got to be really confusing for some of you by now, but just hang on, okay, just bear with us. Okay, um, we will be looking at tangible examples in a while. So x1 times y2 will be the first term over here followed by x2 times y plus rather plus y x2 times y3 which is this term plus x3 times y4 plus x4 times y1 okay followed by let me change the color because now we're going to subtract subtract x2 times y1 minus x3 times y2 over here minus x4 times y3 which is over here okay, minus x1 times y4, which is over here, okay, 
So probably I, I want to make it more obvious. Okay, so the terms that I use a blue line, okay, are for subtraction, whereas the terms which I use a red line are for addition. Okay, or, or, or rather, we are actually adding them. Oops, okay, so going back to this. Okay, so let us look at some tangible examples now. Find the area of a triangle with the vertices A, B, and C, okay, given over here. So area of triangle A, B, C, okay, using the shoestring method or the shoelace method, I will do this, so half times. Now, if I were to start with the coordinates of A, okay, so if I were to start with the coordinates of A, then I will go in this direction. Okay, so the next coordinate that I will be looking at will be B. So let me start with A, which is negative one and ne a negative two and negative one, followed by B, which is two and negative three, followed by C, which is four and three. Okay, and finally I will come back to point A. Now the next thing I will do, I will expand this out. So let me just use a a colored pen to show you. So x, so it will be negative two times negative three plus two times three, two times three plus four times negative one. Okay, so let me switch colors. Minus, okay, negative one times two, so negative one times two minus negative three times four. minus 3 times negative 2. Okay, close modulus. Okay, the next part will just be simply pressing the calculator and uh, if I were to work this out, I would just end up with 14 units squared. Okay, so I hope that wasn't too difficult. If I was going too fast for some of you, please feel free to rewind and rewatch the video. Okay, let's move on to look at another example. So now we have a quadrilateral, which is a, po a four-sided polygon with these vertices A, B, C, and D. Okay, so similar to the previous example, suppose I, I want to start with point A, okay, then going in this direction, okay, I will proceed on to point B, point C, point D, and I'll come back to point A. Okay, so what do I mean? So the area of the quadrilateral of the quad A, B, C, D is given as half open modulus okay, point A will be negative 1, 1 followed by point B, 2, negative 1 point C, point D and back to point A okay, so don't forget to come back to point A okay, now the next thing we will do we will expand this out very slowly okay so negative 1 times negative 1 so negative 1 times negative 1 plus 2 times 3 so 2 times 3 plus 3 times 6 plus 1 times 1 okay then let me switch colors minus 1 times 2 minus negative 1 times 3 minus 3 times 1 minus 6 times negative 1 close modulus okay then using my calculator to help me I will just arrive at 15 units squared Okay, so I hope, I hope this wasn't too difficult for you, though it might be a little confusing. So if you're still feeling unsure or, you know, you're still not too confident of using the shoelace or shoestring formula, please rewind the video and uh, check out how we did our calculations. Okay, so just to summarize, for the area of any triangle, we can use the shoelace method similar for quadrilaterals. This formula can actually um, extrapolate to calculate 
the area of five-sided, six-sided, as well as n-sided polygons, okay? And uh, before we end off, just want to leave you with some practice questions. So feel free to pause it here and take it down. And finally, thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please log on to pencilcollege.com. I'll see ya.